every single year, the government of this country, and here we are not referring to any particular political party, the government of this country subsidizes premium fuel to the tune of around 200 million Ghana cities every year. 200 million Ghana cities. Sometimes this could be around $40 million a year. By doing so, the price that the fishermen actually pay for this fuel is about around 30% uh, of the market value. You pay around 30% of what you are supposed to pay if you buy the fuel in the market. So this is huge. And when you do this, you make inputs cheaper. The implication is that fishermen can easily buy this fuel. Then they go out there and catch fish. And when that happens, and already we have overcapacity, we have too many canoes. If you do that, the implication is that you are depleting the stock. That is why, the, from the graph you saw, each fisher, each boat, or each canoe is catching less and less and less fish because we are catching too much, and there is less and less fish out there in the water. So the 200 million Ghana cities every month. Wouldn't it be better for us to use it elsewhere? Would, would, I mean, if you are supposed to make that decision and you have a situation where the fishery sector is overcapitalized and people have, you know, the, the stocks are depleting and there is the danger that the stocks will completely collapse and the fishermen will not get fish anymore and we will have no fish to eat. We have to import all this fish from uh, China and other places that we don't even know the quality. Wouldn't it be better for us to divert or uh, use this money elsewhere to benefit the same fishermen than using it to subsidize premixed fuel? This is something we can think about. So, how much does this cost the nation? The premixed fuel subsidy, how much does it cost the nation? As you can see from here, it is not, uh, the, the amount is really huge. I mean, this is no child's play. 2016 alone, this cost the nation about 147 uh, million Ghana cities, the subsidy. So this is huge. This is huge. Now, uh, then comes a very interesting uh, issue, which is uh, something that Politicians wouldn't like to hear, but as I said, because it is this room, uh, we can all appreciate it, we can all uh, think about it, and then I will say it, and you can, you can, you can quote me, it's fine. Uh, this is about leakages. So this is how it works. When the premixed fuel is subsidized, and fishermen are supposed to pay 30%, approximately 30%, 30 to 40% thereabout of the market value, only a fraction of the premixed fuel actually ends up with the fishermen. The rest are diverted. According to the 2017 you know, report, uh, I think written by one of these uh, foundations, there were about 200 diversions only in 2017 alone. So what did we do? I decided, I'm a researcher, I decided to take some statistics from different fleets, different uh, fishing vessels, and then look at how much fuel they buy from this subsidized premixed fuel and how much they buy from the open market. Because fishermen are not able to get all the, the, the supplies from the subsidized source. And then, after that, did a few computations based on some reasonable assumptions, then discovered that huge quantities of this fuel don't actually get to those fishermen. I don't know where they go to. So that one, I can't tell you where they go to, but they don't really get to the fishermen. If those numbers we obtain and use for the computations are okay, the huge quantities of this fuel do not get to the fishermen. They end up elsewhere. 
And this is the incentive that is driving the subsidy. Subsidize it, pretend that they are going to the fishermen, sell it somewhere, sell it, and then get, put the rest of the money in your pocket. So when it goes to the para market or the black market, it becomes twice the value that the fisherman pays. And then, you know, so they sell it for 60% of the original price, or I mean, the, the, uh, so 60% of the market price. And then, you know, people benefit. I don't know who. So when you, from the calculations, in 2000, there was, uh, the, 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 the loss was about uh, 67%. And in 2000 and, uh, put on my glasses so I can see it well from here. In 2016, uh, which is the last period from which we had the data, the diversion was about uh, 83%. So technically, we are saying that less than 20% of that subsidy, less than 20% of that subsidy, probably go to the fishermen. This is really, really serious, and this is very bad. So, and that, that explains why the subsidy still continues. So the subsidy is not because we love the fishermen, but it's because when it is subsidized, it is diverted. Because there is no economic reason, there is no social reason why we will be subsidizing fishing inputs when we know that the stores are depleting and very soon we will have no fish in the water. So this is also an illegality. That is why we are talking about it.